Hi, members of the Association of Latino Professionals of America. I'm Christine Gonzalez, Director of Development at REACH, an inbound marketing agency in downtown Kissimmee. I know with all the new normals, sometimes it's hard to stay positive and stay motivated as we kind of navigate these waters and realize, hey, things are not the same. And sitting with that and realizing what can we do to make sure that we still maintain a positive attitude and still stay motivated in the things we want to do to accomplish our dreams and goals. I know that some of us are first generation college students, so we don't necessarily know someone we can turn to to talk about these things, but I kind of wanted to just give some tips and tricks that are helping me as I work from home as well. I try to stay organized and also make sure that I do take breaks. I pair those together with a Pomodoro timer. And what that is, is a timer for 20 minutes with a five minute break and that cycles through five times and ends with a 30 minute break. And that's perfect because I usually land right during my lunch break. But something great about that is that it builds in your breaks. So it allows you to sprint on something that you're working on but then you know that there's a break built in, so that's kind of the incentive, isn't it? So I love that because it allows me to kind of focus my time, but then I also know that I have breaks built in where I can distract myself as specifically at that time, and it helps me eliminate distractions because I know it's already built in. There, there's a time specifically for that. Um, on my longer break, sometimes I like to take a walk because I know sometimes when we are working on something, we kind of get tunnel vision on whether we're studying or writing an essay or for me content. And what that helps me to do is clear my mind and get new ideas. So make sure you do take those breaks and you are not just sitting at your desk while working. Make sure that you are flexible with your time as well. So you should have at least three things that are non-negotiables that day that you make sure that you work on and they have to get done by the end of the day. You can be flexible because you're staying organized so you know what should we do when and that will help you kind of pair all those things together and kind of just acknowledge your progress on everything you're doing. These times are hard. You're learning different things. You're trying different methods and learning what's best for you. So something I like to acknowledge my progress is a gratitude journal and just writing down some things I'm grateful for. Um, when things are going rough like they can now and in our new normal, it's just kind of nice to reflect and realize what are those things in your life you are grateful for. So I kind of pair all those together to maintain a positive attitude and stay motivated and I hope these tips help. Hi members, my name is Crystal Ruiz and I am currently a, an account manager at Reach Marketing Agency, which is an inbound marketing agency. I graduated college in 2017, so as a recent graduate, I understand the struggles of, you know, kind of adjusting to what this new norm is in the real world, honestly, and I can be completely honest, it's a little hard sometimes to say positive and stay motivated, but I kind of developed these little tips and tricks that helped me along the way that hopefully will help you as well. One thing I have uh, what was really hard to adjust was, you know, having the new norm as being an office inside your own home. So one thing I did was I created my own space in my room where I felt comfortable, where I know I can get work done. I put little reminders on my desk of little positive reminders, just, you know, you can do it, um, stay positive, stay focused. And one thing I do recommend is taking breaks whenever you can. Like it's, it's very common for us to not take breaks sometimes because we're in our own home so we're just very comfortable so we just want to work and work and work but it's just like if you're in the office or just like if you're somewhere else you need to make sure you take those uh, those mental breaks to make sure you're resting your eyes away from the computer you know uh, maybe going for a little walk and just kind of clearing your mind um, and then to get 
to get refocused. Uh, one of my other favorite things to do, whether I'm in or out of the office, is create a to-do list. Now, my to-do list sometimes can be two pages long, um, and it's just, you know, little things and big things that I feel like I need to accomplish for the day. Uh, I make sure that there's uh, my top priorities on top, make sure I get those done. But if it's like little things like send an email to this person or make sure to call this person, I always put those in my to-do list because you never know what you can or cannot forget. Um, and it's just, you know, having those little reminders, having a good support system, you know, being able to call a family member or a friend just to, you know, like let things out or, you know, let them know how you're feeling, what I feel like will be very beneficial, especially during this time. I feel like we're all going through different things right now, and to be able to have that uh, talk, I guess, with your with your friends and family members will really just help you, you know, get refocused. And you know, I also find it very beneficial to talk to some of my coworkers about some different things that they are doing and how it can probably be incorporated into my everyday schedule since I was so used to working um, outside of my house and then all of a sudden starting with Reach and um, having to work from home was a bit difficult and a bit of an adjustment but it honestly just talking to my coworkers, asking them what they do asking them uh, what helps them has honestly been able to help me another uh, thing that I love to do is just to start my morning off with uh, whether it's you know reading a news article or listening to a podcast that kind of you know just gets my brain started for the day and um, once I start going into my work you know I'm kind of updated on what's happening in the world behind uh, around me uh, once I start focusing on uh, what I need to get done for the day. So it's just little tips and tricks like that can honestly keep you uh, keep you motivated, keep you positive and get you adjusted to this new norm that we have. Uh, thank you guys so much for asking us to be involved and be sure to stay safe and uh, good luck out there. Mm -hmm.